Okay, so today we are going to make some bouncy balls, some homemade bouncy balls. So what you are going to need is some cornstarch, some warm water, some borax, that's what borax is, some glue. Now, you can use white glue, that's actually preferable. I could only find some clear glue, but if you have white glue, that's perfect. Um, I did my research and it says that you should be able to use clear glue, but we will find out. A food coloring, if you want your bouncy ball to be any kind of color, I'm using blue. You're gonna want two cups or containers. And then, because I don't wanna make a mess, I'm using a tray. Okay, so in one glass or a container, you want to pour half a cup of warm water. So I'm doing that right now. I'm pouring half a cup. Let me turn this around so I can see it a little bit more. And I'm already making a mess with water, so I'm glad I have a pan underneath me. So, I have half a cup of water, and it's warm. Now, you're, this one you're going to use the borax for. So, you're going to open this up. And you're going to need a one tablespoon measuring spoon. So, one tablespoon. You're just going to get one single scoop of borax and pour it in. Be careful. So then you're going to stir it to make sure it's nice and combined. You want to make sure it's all in there so you have a solution. So you're just going to stir it for a couple seconds till all the grittiness goes away. Okay, that seems to be pretty good. So you're going to set this aside and you're, we're going to use that later. So now we are going to use the glue and the cornstarch. So you are going to do two tablespoons. Now, if you have an old tablespoon, you can put it, the glue in there. Um, if you do not, you can kind of eyeball it. Um, now, if you need to use that tablespoon, you'll need another tablespoon of cornstarch. So I'm not actually going to fill this up. I'm going to eyeball it. I'm just going to kind of squeeze out till I've got a good amount. So I'm going to set that down because I'm going to use two hands to squeeze. So approximately that, that looks about good enough. So now you're going to take a tablespoon of cornstarch and you're going to just go in there and take a tablespoon out. And you're going to Add it in to your glue. Now you're going to take a spoon. I'm going to use the same spoon as I used before. And you're going to stir it in. You want to make sure it's nice and sticky. And stir it in really well. Once you have it all stirred in really well, this one goes really fast you can add in your color. If you want it to be a swirl color, my advice is to have part of it as white, part of it as your color. If you want it two colors, 
then I want you to divide into, and you might need mom or dad's help with this, but you want to divide this into two different containers. So you can put as much or as little in. Um, you can try different things such as adding sparkles. I don't have any sparkles with me right now, but you can add sparkles or some confetti. But don't add too much because you don't want it too heavy. So then you're going to stir yours in. So this I'm just going to have as a plain blue bouncy ball. So I'm going to mix it all in nice and smooth so that way it's nice and even. As you see, I've got a nice blue color. And now comes the fun part. We are going to try and get as much of this nice gooeyness together. And again, you might need a parent's help. And you're going to dump it into the borax mixture, into the water. And you're going to try and get all of it in there. And you're going to scrape it as much as you can with your spoon. And you're going to let it sit for a few seconds. You don't want to stir it around, but you do want it to let it sit. So if you take a look, mine's all sitting near the top. So you're going to let it sit and you should notice it's starting to firm up, making it harder. So once you've let it sit for a bit and it looks like it's maybe hard enough, you can take it out. This is where it becomes fun. You take it out. And if it's not quite firm enough yet, just tr try it and roll it in your hands and you might be surprised what happens. You might be surprised that it might firm up a little bit faster. And if you still have gooeyness in a few seconds after trying to firm it up, put it back in for a bit. I've got gooeyness all over my hands. Ew! I'm going to try and take some of this borax and get rid of the gooeyness. And yes, borax can also be used for slime. Not that moms and dads like to hear that word anymore. Um, so now mine's a little bit firmer and I'm going to make more of a ball shape. So there's another experiment you can do with cornstarch as well. You want to add maybe about half a cup of cornstarch into onto a bowl or a plate and then half a cup of water and then I want you to try a couple different things and like smacking it. If you hit it really hard, what's going to happen is it's going to become a solid. If it, you just gently touch the cornstarch and water, it's going to let your fingers sink into it. It's quite interesting. It's quite unique. So if you want to give that one a try, go ahead after you're done making your bouncy ball. I'm not going to do that one here. I don't have enough time to do all of the experiments I'd like to. So mine is starting to become more hard as I am doing, as I'm doing this. I'm still finding it a little gooey, so I'm going to put it back in. My hands are blue. So I'm going to pull it out again. I'm going to keep going with my bouncy ball. You may not have to do it as many times as I'm doing it. I don't know. I've not done this with white glue yet. 
but it definitely is worth having something underneath you as you're working with this so it doesn't get everywhere. I've got blue bouncy ball pieces everywhere in my tray. Okay, I'm getting a firmer ball here. So again, you can do a whole bunch of different things with this. You can um, separate the colors and you make half a ball and then you can glue the balls together or the halves, two halves together if you want different colors. So we've got this, let me test. Doesn't bounce for me yet. It's not hard enough. I'm going to stick it in to harden a little bit longer. Oop. I almost dro I dropped it. Again, good thing I had that tray. Okay, so what is the science behind uh, the bouncy ball? So the glue and the borax are a chemical reaction. And let's see, it's called causing polymers. So the molecules um, in the glue to stick together and form long strands to make it more elastic. So see, there's my ball. And I think it's gonna take a little bit of playing around and just continuing doing this motion over and over again. I don't think it needs any more hardening. It's already pretty hard. You can see there's still a little bit of squish to it. So if you are planning to save your, um, your ball, then what I would like you to do is to put in an airtight sealant, uh, so a container, or wrap it up airtight, because if you don't, it will dry and crack. Also, if you leave it for sitting for a few minutes, it might puddle and go flat. You just have to pick it up and reshape it into your ball. So it's not going to bounce nearly as high as a super bouncy ball does. However, you will still get some bounce out of it. It's a fun little experiment. While your friends take it to school, come September and show your friends and teachers what you learned over the summer and they'll be super impressed. Okay. Okay. So if you make bouncy balls, you can take a video, send it to me at WPCC. I read at gmail.com or a picture, just a picture. You can show me what you've put in it. Um, and you know, as you get better at it, maybe you can add different things. You can make it more elaborate. Let me know. Okay. So today's books are if I were a mouse and the other one is do pirates take a bath? Okay, so head on over to those and um, we'll see you there. Okay, bye.